A very pleasant good night, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, your little Christian brother, Eric Bergson, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth. Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the blue Caribbean Sea. That is in the blue Caribbean Sea. Speaking to you in the month of July 2019. And... In this video part four video, I just want to mention once again, identify some of the tribes. Now the people of America, all the white people in America who we see in this video, the white Americans, you all are the tribe of Ephra Manasseh. So America is Manasseh, right? Now, all the people who are seeing this video, who will happen to see this video on the internet and the World Wide Web, the people of England, Queen Elizabeth, and all the royal families, King George and King Henry, and all of them, the white people of England, they are the tribe of Ephraim. Now, the people of Australia, the white people, you all are British people, that's as the people of England. Because it's British who went to Australia as prisoners. Not the Aborigines, they are the First Nation people, the indigenous, not them. The white people of Australia, you are British because the Queen is the head of state. There's just a Governor General representing her. You all are the same British people. You all also are Ephraim. The people of New Zealand, I want you all to know that you also are Ephraim. Because you all are British too. And the Queen is the head of state. There's a Governor General representing her. The white people of South Africa, the British white people, you all are the set people of England. So you all are Ephraim. And to top it off, the people of Canada, the white people of Canada, you all, the Queen is the head of state of Canada, there's a, general, a governor general representing her, Queen of head of state, you all are British people. You also are Ephraim because Ephraim is a commonwealth of nation, which is um, which the headquarters or the base of Ephraim is really England, and then Ephraim is spread out Australia, New Zealand, white British South Africa, and then Canada. How beautifully! Why is Manasseh is this United States of America a single great nation, brothers and sisters? I will be speaking on that another videos to come to brothers and sisters so in this part four video i want to make that crystal clear and i just want to re-emphasize the point again this as in the motherland palestine where ephraim had its territory and manasseh have its ter territory and the border of ephraim and the border of manasseh to the, the two sons of joseph the two brothers the two borders joined together in Palestine, that God gave them, that land has everlasting inheritance, everlasting possession, unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But outside of Palestine, in North America, Ephraim and Manasseh, the two brothers are there also border. Because Ephraim is Canada, America is Manasseh, and Canada and England, Canada and America is border. So Ephraim and Manasseh is border outside of Palestine. That, that is designed by God. That cannot come across by no guess. God knew exactly where he was sending Ephraim and Manasseh to North America. And he wanted them to be together. And brothers and sisters, I'm going to teach you all something now. That you all could discover that facts by listening to me what I'm teaching you all very attentively. Even in the movies and all, we see that fact. But people are blind to that. Have you all observed... That when the Americans make a lot of in certain, in a lot of the American movies, you will see the British actor and the American actor close together in the film. The two brothers is in the film, Ephraim and Manasseh, whether they know it or not. That is how God tends to have it that way. For instance, look in the film with Sylvester Saloon. The different different um the the different, different yeah, I think it's seven parts he make. You all will understand the movie that I'm 
talking about right now are getting problem to pronounce the name of the movie. But Jason Santana, the British actor, the Kung Fu man, he's in it with Sylvester Stallone. You see both of them in the plane together and they're driving. It and no other, other actor is in the plane. You mostly see Jason and Sylvester Stallone, the British actor and American actor. You see Eva and Manasa there again, very close. So God have them very close together, whether they're conscious of it or not. Yes, my dear friend, that is not no guess. God designed it that way. That's why, that's why this recently, Donald Trump had went to England as a state visit. Of course, he went and visited Her Majesty, God save the Queen, and he talked to Theresa May. And you know what they say? England and America is the England closest ally is Britain and British closest ally ally other country that you relate to is, is America which is two brothers Ephraim and Manasseh is two brothers they are the two modern sons of Joseph America is Manasseh while England is Ephraim but they are two brothers they are the two modern day sons of Joseph whether they know it or not that's the fact about the matter Brothers and sisters, of course, Herbert W. Armstrong know that and he teach that to the world. It's true the majority of the people of the world is ignorant, but a certain percentage of, of the people of the world know that. And and every day, as they read the magazines and listen to the tape of the late Herbert W. Armstrong, and plus they teach and those more, uh, modern and these um, pastors from the Worldwide Church of God who are teaching it, more people are getting to know it as time go along. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. But that's the fact of the matter. Brothers and sisters. So, so I want to clear up these matters. Very important points, pointers. Before I go further on telling, it, telling you all anything about the ten lost tribes of Israel concerning the ten lost tribes and about Ephraim and Manasseh. Brothers and sisters. Right, uh, concerning the house of Judah in Tel Aviv, Israel, I will deal with them more. I will deal with them more, right? So I want you all to know that that the ten lost tribes of Israel is white people. There's white people. There's white people. There's not black people. So the ten lost tribes is white people. Yes, my dear friends, and nothing wrong with that. If there was black people, I accept that. If there was green or pink or blue or yellow people, I accept that. I have no problem with that. Why should you all have a problem with that, my black brothers and sisters? If the if the, if the if the ten lost tribe was black people and truly they were black people, I'd have teach about that, and you all had accept that you all wouldn't have a problem. But since you all are claiming that you are the you all are the ten lost tribes of Israel, well, not all black people, but a certain percentage of you, claiming that you all are the Ten lost tribes are Israel, and all, and the ten lost tribes is black people, or the whole twelve tribes is black people. Now, Robert W. Armstrong teach that the two ten tribes is white people. Then there's a conflict arrive, because you all are saying what you all are teaching is true, and what Robert W. Armstrong is teaching is false. When Robert W. Armstrong, what he's teach, Robert W. Armstrong will. Teach, See, and all those in the worldwide church are going, what they're teaching is true and what you all are teaching is false. One had to be right and one had to be wrong. But I'm saying you all are wrong, my black brothers and sisters, and Herbert W. Armstrong is right. Yes, 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 my dear friends, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. So I want to clear up these facts. I want to clear up these facts. I make these things abundantly clear. Concerning the ten lost tribes of Israel and of course the house of Judah. But I said I will deal with the house of Judah as time go about the Jewish people. Brothers and sisters. I am not fooling you all and I'm not deceiving you all in no ma in no way, brothers and sisters. Because in these videos I am giving you all, I'm telling you all. To do further research by getting in contact with the Worldwide Church of God in Los Angeles, California, Los Angeles, California, 
Pasadena, California. That's type of Pova W. Armstrong. All his videos will come up and start studying the man. All his teaching, try to get all his books, write to the Worldwide Church of God. Get his books on the Ten Lord Stripes. So I'm sending you all in the right direction. And this before to anyone, whether the Chinese want to know about the Ten Lord Stripes, the Indians, any human being want to know about the Ten Tribes, watching this video on the internet and seeing this video, I'm sending to each and every one who want to know about the Ten Lord Stripes, get the books on Herbert W. Armstrong and do the research. I'm sending you all to the right source. I'm not sending you all to no university. And to no college, whether it be King College in England, or whether it be Cornwall University or, U or Oxford University, or any prestige in U university or think tank, prestige institution, I'm not sending you all day. And if there's any white professor or black professor in any of these prestige universities throughout the United States of America or any part of the world, claim that he had the true knowledge about the Ten Lord Stripes, but in fact, he could really have the true knowledge of the Ten Lord Stripe. But still, I will not recommend the, you to him, whether he be a white man or a black man. No, I'm not doing that. I'm sending you all to Herbert W. Armstrong first. Right. After, if you all want to find out what the white professor is teaching about the white, about the Ten Lord Stripes, because he claiming to have the fact, then you all could, then you all could find out what he's really teaching. And if you all see that what he is teaching is harmony with Herbert W. Armstrong, then accept that. But if you all see that what he is teaching is going contrary to Herbert W. Armstrong, then reject what he is saying and hold on to what Herbert W. Armstrong has teach the true apostle of God of his time, my dear brothers and sisters. So I'm sending you to the Herbert W. Armstrong first. <laughs> my brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Right? So I'm teaching you all the right way and I'm giving you all the right recommendation. Herbert W. Armstrong. Right, brothers and sisters? So access his information and all his teaching tips and his books and things. Contact the Worldwide Church of God. Get the number. Read it. Call them. Call them up. Make contact with them. Go to YouTube. Download his videos and begin watching it and read and, mm -hmm. and I'm listening to the man. And you all will do be surprised. You all will learn a lot and you all will truly know who are the ten lost tribes of Israel, brothers and sisters, and also the house of Judah, the twelve tribes of Israel. Yes, my dear friends. So I end on that note, my dear brothers and sisters. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.